this this is yeah this is this is where it gets juicy man this so when we when we played with emily when we when we played when we played when we played um the emily route the same thing happened rick or not rick matt and kelly broke broke a uh, breakup right which causes some pretty crazy shit to happen um and you'll see i'm not gonna i'm not gonna spoil it if you don't know um but yeah let's see so matt we're on our wall rick you and evelyn you didn't even need me to wingman we didn't holding hands movie was so scary crush rick's hand this is pretty cool this is really cool because this is completely new to the emily storyline because the emily storyline the two of us were holding um the wii the wii remotes this is at the movie theater this is really dope horror movie time Emily wrote on Evelyn's wall, yeah I can talk, meet me at my lockers after next last period. Kelly posted three photos, here's all of us. Eva and Rick, the corpse bride and groom, so this is Halloween. That's pretty cool. Matt was supposed to be Michael Sarah, but he forgot. But he forget and got a hot dog costume, so here's... Here's Kelly. Here's Matt, and Emily was... Tinkerbell, and if we date, if we date Emily, we be, we're, we go as Peter Pan. Look. Evelyn is one month with you. Still, it's been one month. Matt is now single. So you and Evelyn are together. You made it Facebook official, so everyone knows. Everyone also knows about Matt and Kelly. So I wonder, I wonder if we keep, if we're able to keep it a secret, if that changes the game at all. Now, that would be kind of interesting to see. Is if, is if you don't make it Facebook official. Yeah, now it's yeah. Here comes now. Now we're getting juicy. Uh, it's December twenty eighth, so Evelyn's birthday is coming up on the January first. Emily's birthday is also January third. We got two new playlists. It seems like. Okay, let's see what we got here. So here, uh, Evelyn poked me. Poke her back really quick. Kelly posted four photos on Wednesday. Let's catch up here first before we text her. Matt and Rick, not so much. We went ice skating. Me and Evelyn doing just fine. Hell yeah, so they're friends. We're going ice skating. Double date time. Hell yeah, double date. I mean, that was nice back then. Evelyn wrote, all I want for Xmas is you and an iPod. Okay, so she wants an iPod. Kelly wrote on Matt's wall, hey Matt, I know you said you were busy today, but can you help me with pictures tomorrow? Matt wrote on Kelly's wall, sorry Kelly can't tomorrow, but can you hang out Saturday? I need to tell you something. Evelyn tagged me in three posts. Let's go, that's one. We're grown-ups now, it's our turn to decide what that means. That's Evelyn in a tube. Look at this badass couple. Honestly, I kind of... I kind of like Evelyn a little bit more right now. I, I do. Evelyn wrote on our wall, Hey, are you free tomorrow night? Because I am. Matt wrote, or Matt is single yesterday. Matt is single yesterday. It's Rick. It's Evelyn. How dare you poke me back? I hope you realize this means this means war. Empty threats. Eva better than all. Yeah, you know what? I I I, I want to go back and play the second game with the Evelyn um the Evelyn route because I didn't do that last time. I only did Emily. I tried to do it. I tried to play the game again, and when it bounces back and forth really quick. I got stuck with Emily again. <laughs> I was trying to get both of them. My threats are never empty. I hereby declare a war. Typically a pacifist, but you're going down. Feel free to be the bigger person and give it up. Give up anytime. Nice try. Nice try there, baby. It would be better if they used like pet names like that. Like little, um, uh, uh, like baby or babe and things like that. It would make it a little bit more realistic, I feel, than like using their name all the time. So, how was your day? Just whatever. It was so awesome. Played some Guitar Hero. 
What'd you get up to? Video games. Digigames. How about you? I spent the past few hours listening to new music. About to update my playlist. I want to listen. All right, so what are we gonna get, Evelyn? What, what do you, what do we do, Jacob? We get her cake, thong, the lips, kissy lips, balloon, rose, or champagne. What do we want to give her for her birthday? Matt wrote, "I'm glad my pain at least went to a good cause." Then, okay. What did she write on Matt's wall? This is kind of cool. I like that you could do this in the in the game. It's like you can see people's walls and what people are writing. You know, I'm sorry, but that face plant picture will never not be funny. And that's this one. Matt is only forward. Oh, fucking Matt gave Evelyn a thong. To Happy almost birthday, Evelyn. I think these are pretty much your style. Alright, so here's the playlist. The playlist that she sent this time has Rise Against, Garden State by Census Fail, Rise Against again, You're Gonna Go Far, Kid Lyric, and Slipknot. And then this is Rise Against Reeducation. Okay. New Rise Against, hell yeah. I feel like a kissing is fine, right? That's like romantic, I guess. What you've always wanted. Real gifts coming later. For now, have a virtual kiss. I actually just had the best idea of all time. I'm on board 100%. Whatever it is, I'm on board. 100%. Shit ton of poking. Um, it's gonna make this conversation super romantic. It's, I'm all for that. It's impossible. I'm all for that. Okay, here, play this. Play this along with the music. Oh, it's just it's it's like a moody rain thing. It's just this is this is what she showed us right here. It's, it's just this. You play it and it plays rain. Nothing really that big a deal. And then it's just the sense, it's like the rise against music that goes with it. Kinda. I do love thunderstorms. It was raining really nice. Um, oh, Jacob, what, what are you, what's up with the, uh, with the cruise, man? What, tell me more about the cruise that you're going on. Sorry, I didn't, didn't ask. You said you're coming to LA, dude. Are you leaving from Long Beach? I'm trying to think of where you would leave for the cruise. I know, I think Long Beach has the port. Um, imagine us stuck in the rain. The thunder is so calming and the rain smells so good. Not to mention the whole us making out part. Soggy kissing. I know that's my favorite. I love your laugh. I want to get stuck in the rain with you for real. Hell yeah. Let's go. But all we have right now is snow. I try making out the snow. It's gonna be a seven day cruise out to Mexico with the family. I think it is Long Beach. I'll have to check. Yeah, that makes sense. Long, Long Beach is nice. They got, it's a nice little area. I mean, yeah, I could, I could definitely hang out for sure if you're in, um, in that realm. That was a really good mix. That was a really good mix. Um. I'm I'm actually really impressed with how how 
jammy that mix was. I'm gonna do. I wanted. I'm in the mood for a little bit more disco, or a little bit more disco house because I. I really did enjoy that. Um, that's what we just listened to. That. That was defected records. Funky and disco. New disco pool party house mix. Let's do let's do this one. See how this is. January twenty twenty four. Funky anthems remixes. By DJ Marky, funky disco and bo boogie in a house with DJ Marky. Let's fucking go, dude! Holy shit! Yo, I just remembered, you owe me money. Only three more days looking at I know, right? It's crazy how fast that like came up, dude. I'm excited, man. It's gonna be a good time. Have you done a cruise before? A fucking date. You see how we have a fucking date? Whoa, get your mind out of the gutter, Rick. Did we ever decide what we were doing? That was definitely your job. Well, I didn't do it. Okay, that's fine. How about you pick? Let's go. Let's go. We go to the movies again. We should definitely go to the movies again. She loves horror movies. Been a few years though. Oh nice, let's go. That's awesome. I've never been on a cruise. I'll buy you candy if you buy me popcorn. I'm oh, Twizzlers! Let's fucking go, dude! That's literally what I get. I always get Twizzlers. That's, that's my fucking candy of choice. What are, uh, what are some places you went on a cruise to, man? My buddy Steve, who I'm actually staying with in Kansas City, or in that in Missouri this weekend, um, he he does cruises all the time. He did a cruise with Jay and Silent Bob, uh, Kevin Smith, Jason Mewes, and like all those people that do those movies. Recently, he's done a bunch of those cruises. He he always loves it. I wonder what would happen if we both started eating because we're at opposite ends. I gotta, sh I gotta show Katie this now because that's actually really funny. Oh shit, got a spooky date tonight. Let's go, spooky. So excited. I like us a whole lot. This is probably like the healthiest relationship I've ever had. Same here for me. They're hella fun. Plus, paying for it monthly makes it so much more affo affordable. What do you, what do you mean monthly? Like, see. So Mexico, and then once the Bahamas. Ooh, nice. Bah I mean, Mexico was obviously really, really close. I feel like Bahamas is nice because you really do get to stay on the cruise for like a long time, and you know, unless they make stops and, and things like that. Thanks for the birthday gift. Don't you love it? A lipstick kiss. How romantic. Do, do most cruises have poker? I know my buddy says there's poker on some of them. And obviously like open bar and um, buffets, things like that. I know there's some cruises that have like full on malls and shit like that. Like huge, huge ones. You can pick your cruise and make like monthly payments instead of like- Oh, oh, monthly payments. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I get you, I get you. I, I do the same thing a lot of times for like Coachella and stuff like that. Or like, you know, big, big, massive events. Mix yeah, 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 it makes, it makes it so much easier. They have huge casinos in them. Hell yeah, that's so dope. Do you, do you, uh, do you gamble at all?
It went well, we both had a lot to say, I guess. I think she wants to put the past behind her as much as I do. That's great. They sent Emily a um, birthday gift as well. Sent her some champagne or something like that, I guess. Happy birthday. This is her happy, happy birthday, Emily. It just, it's just kind of hard, like we're not friends again, but we're friendly. You just have to start somewhere, give it some time. You have to, yeah, you do, you have to start somewhere. Right. The last one I went on was the first time I could, and it wasn't bad. I ended up making 600, haven't done it since. Let's go, dude. What'd you, what'd you play, dude? You do, um, you play cards, or you do, I don't, I don't know if they have slots. Or anything like that. I mean, I'm, I, of course they have like blackjack and poker and things like that. Yeah. Thanks again for helping me with Emily's stuff. I really appreciate it. Glad I could help. No need to thank me, of course, anytime. Anytime. This poking thing is like really not stuff. And I gotta admit, at first I thought me and Em were kind of beyond reconciling, but like whatever we are is better than before. Certainly less stressful. That's what matters most. That's what matters most. My buddy, my buddy Steve told me it's gonna be extremely cold this weekend in um, in Missouri or in like in the Kansas City area. Turns out I should listen to you more often instead of just tuning you out. I'm sorry. What? What'd you say? I wasn't listening. I see what you did there. Mostly slots. I played some blackjack and roulette and then watched poker because I still don't understand that. Oh, I could teach you poker, dude. Poker's really not that hard to understand. It seems way more complicated than it is. Yeah, that's, that, that's, it's like, I think, I think Friday when we get in there, it's like 50, like high of like 59 or something like that. So I don't know how it is for you or how you are with cold. Um, I know the desert gets really cold sometimes, but... I like you a lot. Call me Mr. Christ. I like you too. Yeah, but poker's really easy. Uh, roulette's I like, I like roulette too. I like roulette's a lot of fun. You wanna get a hotel room with me? Oh, fuck yeah. Blackjack is fun too. I feel like, oh, you know what you could do is, is you can play Red Dead and you can probably learn how to play poker with that. <laughs> I'm sure some people have. This year with you has been great. Best year ever, first time I've had. Best year. Who says that, dude? Yeah, kill friend, best there ever. It's like a fucking two best girlfriends talking to each other. It's so stupid. Who's Anna McKinley? Single. Uh... Okay. Who knew senior year would be so fun? Everyone is so like free or something. You mean like hippies? You happen to live in one of the places of Arizona that snows, so it shouldn't be too far off. It's been around 50, 60 during the day. Oh, that's oh, okay. So you yeah yeah you, then you're kind of used to that stuff around that then. Like for me, dude, like. It was it was like 72 on set yesterday or the day before, and I was like by the beach, and I was like cold. <laughs> Fucking Californians, dude, they can't handle cold. Like all clicks are just kind of falling apart. Just so it's the drugs. I need to give that game another run. It was so much. That's dude, that's what I'm saying too, man. I really want to do a um. I, I really want to do a uh, high honor run. I'm really upset I didn't get high honor the first time. You're probably right about that. It's just kind of cool. It's like I'm meeting some people for the first time. Yeah, clicks are the worst. That's what you to break. Right, nice to meet you. Oops. Oh, hey, you know what? I got a job for you. 
I convinced this girl from English to make a profile. Can you friend her? What's this job pay? And kiss. I was the same way before college. I used to, I was used to like 90 to 100 every day. I was freezing when I first moved. Yeah, and it's so wild. Hello, Evelyn's special friend. She said you look cute in your profile pic, and I was like, I know. She looks cute too. I'm, I'm more than I can do. Imagine saying she looks cute too. That would be terrible. That's the first way, one way ticket to getting a fight with your girlfriend. Sure, I wish you were in our class. We have like the best group. Her and Steve are absolutely hilarious. Who is Steve? Someone else from our table group. Okay, so we have to look out for Steve. Steve is someone I think that we're gonna have to fucking be careful. Someone else from our table group. It's just fun to get to know new people, you know? I get what you mean. I get, I get what you mean. Plus, you know, I do have an opening for a proper best friend. Why is she not best friends with Evel or with Emily still? After me and Emily, well, you know. Do you need a? Do you need a best friend? I'm gonna ask. Do you? Do you need a best friend? I thought I could be your best friend. Are you sure that you needed a best friend? Need a best friend. What? You got Anna to join? It's about time. Evelyn wrote on Steve Dryers. I can't see. So he's single. He's friends with Jeff, Danielle, and Anna. And the night I hear him talk, the coldest story ever told, Kanye. Uh, okay. I don't need one, but I'd like one. I just think having other friends is super important. I agree. It doesn't matter to me. Okay, it makes for a healthier it makes for a healthier relationship. But yeah, dude, it's gonna be really sick this weekend, man. I'm really excited. I'm I'm really happy that we're all able to like stay with red too. I think that helps out a lot to like just to just amplify and utilize as much time there you know what I mean to hang out um, instead of just being at the wedding and then reception and then just everyone goes back to hotel or whatever it's like we're, we're, we're making the trip we might as well like utilize as much time as we can out of curiosity who would you say is your closest friend right now I'm gonna say you well, you duh Besides me, you dingus. I like that. I like that. Uh, let's see. I'll probably do Matt. Yeah. I like Ev dude. Honestly, Evelyn is her 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 dialogue is 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 really fun compared to Emily. It's it's a little bit more aggressive. I want to say. I'd say Matt too, but like I don't know how true that is. Like him and Kelly broke up. I didn't see that shit coming at all. Yeah, I had no idea. So in this situation. We have the ability to go back on what we said with Emily. Emily asked us to keep it a secret that Matt hit on her. I was so surprised when we went ice skating this week. They seemed so happy. I guess they were hiding it. And I'm not going to throw Matt under the bus. about to get a room at this insane hotel in KC. I'm glad Red stopped me in time. Like, it, insane. By insane, do you mean, like, just super expensive? I guess so. Breakups are the worst. Let's never do that. Let's never do that, Evelyn. Hell yeah, that sounds good to me. Let's go. I hope Matt and Kelly are okay. They'll be fine with time. Probably just emotional right now. Probably just emotional right now. Because it's so raw.
I don't even know. Matt hasn't posted anything all day. It makes me kind of worried. Just wants to be alone. Maybe he's up being single. You don't need to be worried. Probably just just wants to be alone right now. Maybe, maybe not. I just texted him how he's doing. That was nice of you. Could just need space. Might not want to talk. That was nice. That was nice of you to do. Evelyn. Evelyn is a good person. I think she's very kind-hearted. I just think sometimes she probably just doesn't have the best like awareness on what might be the best thing to do. It was super nice and was gonna run me like 500. Damn, dude. That's insane. For like what two 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 nights? Fr Friday to Sunday. He's always been so nice to me. I'm just trying to be thoughtful. He takes it back. What he's saying. It's torn up pretty bad about the breakup. He wants to call me in a few minutes. Do you want to? I'm sure. I'm trying to talk to someone will. Sure, talking to someone will help him. I hope so. Are you okay with him calling me? Of course I'm okay with it. I heard a rumor about him and you... Just something you should know. I'm okay with it. Of course I'm okay with you too, because I trust her. I trust Evelyn. I think it was four nights, but I ended up not being able to stay that long. Oh, for sure. What, what, time, uh, what day are you leaving? This whole situation just sucks. No more double days. He's I'm sure it'll be okay. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. It'll be in time. I have to admit, I'm like morbidly curious. I wonder who broke up with who. I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. I really didn't see this coming. Fly back on Monday. Oh, nice. Yeah, same. Yeah, I, I get in there Friday night. My buddy Steve's picking me up from the airport. Then he'll drop me off at Red's house or whatever the wedding thing is. And then, um,. Stay with you guys till Sunday, and then I'll be going back to my buddy Steve's on on Sunday, spending time with him and his girlfriend. Leave Monday. I don't know. I really didn't see this coming. I mean, neither. Which probably means one of them was blindsided to break up. So, what can you do? Yeah, like you said, breakup sucks. I hope I hope I hope the flight is is good. Or is it what is it? Are you doing one way or is it? Or do you have like a layover? Steve sounds like a goat. Yeah. Oh, you didn't you didn't get to meet Steve, Jacob. That sucks. Um, Steve used to make appearances on my stream when I would stream at this other house. Um, he is a good guy. He's a really good guy. He was he was the guitarist in my band. I got a phone call. Okay. What happened? I don't know, he was just quiet for a few seconds then hung up. He must be really fucked up. Brutal, brutal breakup. Must have been a brutal breakup then. Maybe you should message him yourself? You two are like close. I could, yeah, I could do that. Thanks, Rick. I got you, baby. Uh, it sounds selfish, sounds selfish, but seeing Kelly and Matt like this makes me so grateful for us. I'm thankful too. Yeah, I'm thankful too. Kelly is sorry. Anna is. I have no idea what I'm doing. Bopping around a room. The last. I'm just glad that we're in such a good place. I have to be the luckiest person alive. No, that's me. That obviously goes to me. 
both one way. Oh, that's nice. I have to do a stupid layover in fucking Dallas. It's like an hour layover. Well, I still like you more, so yeah. So sweet. You really think so? Prove it. Prove it tonight. Who has the status screaming about our date night? That may be. Does she really? Spook, spoopy day tonight, that's true. Write a status. What time is your plane landing? On Friday? I believe it's landing at around like 9.15. And, and uh, Kansas City. Likes Evelyn way more. End of story. Had the best sandwich today. Rick like Evelyn, uh, likes Evelyn way more. End of story. Uh, surprised you didn't see that coming. We're gonna win this book war. You know what? I have a brilliant idea to figure this out. I found this face nook relationship quiz thing. We should totally do it. If you want to. Where is Emily again? Where's Emily? Does she have any new photos? Oh hey, it's me. When the snow stops falling, we improvise. Catching snowflakes. These are photo these are all the photos of us. Jealous is gorgeous plus an hour shouldn't be that bad. Right, yeah, it's not yeah, the hour is really not that bad. I'm, I'm not too worried about it. Um, should should give you enough time to make it to the next gate and maybe grab the food. Right, exactly. Yeah. It's a lot, but there, there were some flights that had like three hour layovers or like just, just ridiculous, but um, my buddy gets off work at nine, so it kind of gives me an hour just, or a time just to just chill at the airport, just kind of kick it before he picks picks me up. Let's both do it at the same time, no cheating, I'm gonna beat you. But yeah, man, it's gonna be—it's gonna be really good, dude. I'm really—I'm really excited. It's gonna be—it's gonna be fun. It's just gonna be hectic in the in Red's room. Everyone playing Clone Hero. <laughs> Can see Avatar. I tried to avoid the ones with labor. Yeah, there's a couple that were that were decent, but just, it was a little bit more expensive, and I was like, fuck, I'm just, just trying to save some money if I can. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Oh yeah, she, she, she did do the whole notes first. Remember, oh yeah, just hurry back. Be right back, Les. I love you. Miss you already. Okay, so she's offline. Evelyn invited us to take this quiz, compatibility quiz. A genie appears and will grant you one wish. What is it? To be liked by everyone. Some superpowers. World peace. More wishes. Easy. You, oh man, dude, that's crazy. Yeah, I, 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 when I saw my tickets were like relatively pretty cheap. It was like, I think it was like 180. Round was it round trip? I think it was like 180 or like one way. And I was like, I gotta grab this, so I got I got lucky. I had to pay a little bit extra to pick my pick my seat, but it's all right. Okay, world peace end of human suffering. What smiley would you be most likely to use to show that you're excited? XD. What kind of clothes do you wear most often? Nothing. Comfy sweats or pajamas. I had to pay off my rent before I get snaggles. Yeah, that makes sense, man. <laughs> I 
trying to think of what what does she have right now? Rise against. Down funk do you eat me? I'm a vegetarian. It's Saturday night and you're having fun, what are you doing? Chilling playing video games, crowd surfing a concert, crowd surfing a concert. You get a call from the president, why are they calling? Oh no, the feds, they finally found they found me. What airline do you use? It depends. It usually I try to do like American Airlines, United Airlines, um, any pretty much anything besides Spirit, essentially. Uh, where do you want to travel to most? Are you actually? I am actually a vegetarian. Yeah, I am. Uh, last time I picked Tokyo. Which of the following would you absolutely never do? Cheat on someone, lie to a good friend, kill anyone, kill someone. I would never kill somebody. It's late and you're getting tired. What do you do to relax before bed? Curl with a good book. Sit on the couch and watch some TV. Just lay in bed early. Crack a Red Bull and stay up. Watch some TV. Because I'm, I'm trying to think of things that like Evelyn would do as well. You need a coffee ASAP. Where do you go? Small co lo local craft roaster. Why the why the hate on spirit and that's like I don't know I didn't know that yeah well I think this I think with spirit sometimes I think it's this I think I've heard service issues and just quality overall quality you don't get to pick your seats a lot of times and there's a couple other things um, I think there's the, there's a refund issue as well you're on a date and all these films are playing what do you see stranger things strangers uh strangers because that is what evelyn evelyn's gonna pick yeah i've been um i've been i've been vegetarian like seven eight years now i think i want to say it is so, i think it's been it's been a while i completely i don't i don't remember what's the furthest you go on a first date all the way mouth stuff kissing or making out uh, I guess they're making out, I guess. What talent would you most like having? Super smart, able to draw, know how to actually DJ. I already know how to DJ. Play the guitar well, like Dragon Force well. Let's do, let's do this. What is the most important trait for a romantic partner? They're honest, they're honest. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Please let Evelyn be up there. No, 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 no. Oh, thank God. I got worried. At least, Eve okay, Evelyn's up there with 94, so that's good. That's really good. Uh oh, we're getting messaged by Kelly, which is Matt's ex girlfriend now. A new spirit was generally considered pretty pretty bad just never knew why yeah I mean again it's like during before COVID hit like like a week before COVID actually like shut the entire country down I actually had a plan or I was planning to go to te Texas to meet up with some girl um, and I was gonna use spirit because it was just cheap spirit is great if you're just cheap you know what I mean I just don't really care for short quick trips I would probably do spirit but like for longer trips I, I would choose like anything delta you know united airlines and, and american airlines and stuff but and who knows spirit could be completely different now I, I don't i don't know yo kelly what up kelly i, I hope kelly doesn't try to hit on us uh how are you i'm good i am good i'm loving my life my me and Evelyn are doing great. You've been better, of course you have. What's the cheese, man? It's been a rough few days. If you need anything, I'm really sorry, can't imagine. If you need anything, I, I think me and Kelly have always been really cool. I'm always around if you need anything. Thanks, Rick, you're really kind. So are you. What's up, Ryuko? How you doing, man? I'd rather just use my 
KI to fly. Can't trust those flying metal keys. <laughs> what's it? Wait, what's your key? I usually go with Southwest. South Southwest is South Southwest is great too. Jacob, I agree. I I I, I forgot about Southwest. That's just because it's what my parents use. Nice. Yeah, South Southwest is good too. Um, so I'm sure you know by now that me and Matt broke up. Yeah, I heard. Key just your inner energy, like what they use in Dragon Ball. Ah. Okay. I would I would use that too. Just like. Ah. I was just hoping to ask you a favor. What's up? First, you have to promise not to like repeat this to anyone. Uh, of course not. Let's see, is there another mix I can find? Bam! Oh, the Funk and Disco House mix with Chromio. This could actually be really nice too. I'm gonna try. Let's try. Are you free tonight? I have a date with Evelyn. Oh. Uh oh. Okay, am I free tonight? I have a date with Evelyn. Oh, bummer. I just know you're really good at talk, at listening and like giving advice and stuff. Uh, we can talk now. I mean, we can definitely talk about stuff now if you need to. Oh, you thought? Yeah, I thought. No, not me. I was asking for Matt. Uh, sorry, my mistake. Kind of funny though, because I have like such a huge fear of flying, so I've never flew in my life. Oh wow! But me and my GF plan on making first my first flight to Japan, because that's like the only place I'm actually motivated to travel to. Yeah, I've. Flying, flying isn't too bad, Rico. I mean, this it's it, obviously there's a risk with everything, but honestly, I think you obviously you probably have more chance of getting in an accident driving than you do on a plane, for sure. Um, planes are pretty pretty damn safe, and and it, it you can get pretty comfortable plane rides as well. Um, I just wanted to ask if you would talk to him. He hasn't really spoken to me since I broke up with him yesterday. Why did you break up? Why did you two even break up in the first place? Yeah, but J Japan would be great, dude. That's, that'd be a great first trip, man. Our first, like, flying trip, dude. Yeah, I, I, yeah same, Jacob. I really want to go to Japan, too. A lot of reasons it had been growing for a while. Did Emily talk to you? Did something happen? Oh, why not? Like, did something happen? I mean, it wasn't anything big. That was always good and faithful and all that. People just change sometimes, don't you think? You're saying you changed? You know what I saw recently on TikTok is like there's been people like influencers that have gone to this like 24 hour like multiple level or floor like round one like thing. It's like they got bowling, mini bowling, human soccer, arcade games, archery, axe throwing, um, all these crazy different things that you can do in this like eight level round one and it's like super cheap for like all day. So you're saying that you changed, that's why you broke up. Yeah, we both did. Like, we're just different people. Different people now than junior year, and we want different things. Glad it just. Glad it wasn't super dramatic. Just feel bad for that. I'm glad the whole thing wasn't super dramatic. Oh, I mean, cool, cool anime shit, dude. I'm sure they have a shit ton of anime stuff, dude. Like, just, I think, I think it'd just be really cool to see the the cities, but also go to the countryside. You know, I I, I know Japan definitely has some really good countryside stuff. Like Mount Fuji would be really cool to visit. Ride the bullet train. Plus, it's senior year. Everything's ending soon, anyway.
Yeah, I'm sure you and Matt will stay in touch. <laughs> she completely like dodged that question. So he hasn't messaged you about the breakup? Then? Nah. Nah, I guess he just wants some time alone. It does sound like Matt, you are his best friend. I have to, I'll just, I have to reset, I have to reach out to him. I do understand that living in Japan and visiting Japan are totally different things though, but going there has the tourist is insane, like it's so gorgeous. Yeah, like, how long would you want to be there? I, I, like, two weeks is great for vacation, but obviously extremely expensive, but like, one, one to two weeks is like the perfect, like, length of time, I think. What a good BFF. Hey, can you tell him? I'm, I'm just, like, sorry. There was, like, nothing he could have done, you know? Maybe I'll feel it out. <laughs> Maybe. You should tell him that. Feels like you should be the one to tell him that. Two weeks. Yeah, that's good. Two weeks would be good. I Kelly, I will in time. You'll need a friend request his new profile. He made a new... Facebook profile. Let's see what 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 sad boy stuff is Matt posting out. You can try and make this pretty. Pick up all my dirty clothes, and if you never really get me, then I guess you'll never know the train wreck that I am. And I am what I am, what I am, a train wreck. Just let me burn. It's what I deserve. Look at this. Look at this, Look at this emo boy. Sad boy hours. Who's a sad little boy? Yeah, he friended me from this one late last night, but when I went to accept it this morning, the request was gone. Oh no, poor Matt. <laughs> no, it's t I can't. I can't hear it though. Damn. Were you guys able to hear that at all? Did it? Did it work? Did that work? Were you good? Were you able to hear that? The the um. Yeah. So what happened was because my because my account got suspended this past weekend, all my stuff got like um unauthorized and like it just like I had to re reauthorize chatty and OBS and all this stuff. So I have to go back to stream elements and re like re re log in and re um, reset everything up. It's just it's it's fucking dumb. I really don't like that I have to redo that. So I I apologize. Man. This makes me feel shitty. Whatever. Now that you're here, that's the weight off my shoulders. Just happy to help. Problem at all. Ciao. This bitch is French. Yeah, it is. It kind of sucks. But so this is the thing. We could have, we could have told Kelly about the whole um, Matt hit hitting on Emily thing. And that would have been interesting to see how that change changes Kelly. I mean, because they're already broken up, you know. But then, then we would lose the trust of Matt, and that's not good. So let's see. We'll talk to Matt, Mr. Depressed Boy here. Hello, Matt. I mean, uh, Matt, uh Matthew, whichever. Jake, how are you? Okay, I'm pretty excited to meet the new Matt. Do you want to talk? You want to talk about Kelly and stuff? Listen, I know you're probably just being nice. But like, you don't need to talk to me if you don't want to. 
you're my friend, you do the same. He, he, he would. I know you do the same if I were going through something. Sorry, I messed up a couple of things at first, but you know. I just feel bad. Just getting warmed up here, huh? I'm not my usual shelf. Probably no fun to talk to. Doesn't need to be fun. You can actually ruin it. Let's hit you with a little um, chromio glitter box. No, it doesn't always need to be fun. I can't look at Matthew without two T's like Matthew. No, I, I feel you. Yeah, it's the same. It, it caught me off guard. That's my name. It looks so weird. It's just so weird without with or with one T. Yeah. I don't think I've ever met a Matthew like this, like with one T. Well, welcome to Sad Boy City, Population Me. No, it's Population Us. I want to be a sad boy. Lefty guy would say sad face. You haven't seen anything yet. Check out this playlist I'm listening to. Alright, what are you listening to, Matt? Matt is listening to... So you had a bad day. This motherfucker is listening to it. You had a bad day. <laughs> I actually love this song. Even your sad music sucks. Even your sad music sucks, and you just push him down. <laughs> Bad day goes fucking crazy. <laughs> what, what's wrong with this song? <laughs> it's about a bad. It's about a single day. The song's for like children. It's not applicable to breakups. Oh no no! I, I'm I'm just messing on it. But it, it is a good song. I like. I don't mind it whatsoever. I'm having a bad day. You're saying it's not not for me. You're having a bad month. I think your problems are just bigger. Thanks for making me crack up, Rick. Now turn off that playlist. Never listen to Bad Day again. Damn, I still can't believe I'm single. No warning signs. How did it happen? What did she say? Um, how did it happen? She just came over to hang out yesterday like any other day. But the second she got here, she said we needed to talk and she just told me. So she didn't even waste enough time. But at least she did it in person. I feel like breaking up through text is just not good. The second she got here, she said she gave me a time. So how are you doing? Still kind of in shock. I keep replaying the conversation in my head. Like, was there anything I could have said or done differently? She had made up her mind. She probably had, yeah, she had made up her mind. But maybe I should have picked up on stuff. Maybe I could have changed things long before now. But then you wouldn't be you, I think. Thinking like that won't help. You can't go, but yeah, right. Because, yeah, he, he. It doesn't seem like he did anything wrong, right? Like with Kelly, it just seems like, again, she just grew up, up a little bit and just didn't think he was going at the same level or going in the same direction as her. So it, it's not like he did anything wrong specifically, which is probably extremely hard for him. Because in his mind, he's like, what What did I do? What, I fucked up. Like, it just sucks. I don't know when things got like this. Like, we were really good for so long. She's she is who she is. You two just grew apart, right? Yeah, I think you two just grew apart from each other. That happens. Yeah, maybe we did. 
Do you think she could ever, like, I don't know, love me again? Maybe, but out of your hands, she'd focus on you right now. It depends entirely. Maybe. Maybe, but it's out of your hands right now. Good relationships take two, right? Yeah, you can't force that. I got the juice. Maybe, but maybe I could say something or change something. I don't know. The best thing is to move on. I don't think you can. Show her you're independent. Yeah, I think the best thing is to show her that you're independent. Like, you don't, you don't rely on her. You'll be okay on your own. If you want her back, first show her you can be independent. Right, just be independent. I'm sorry, I like, I'm like this. I just never loved anyone but Kelly. Never thought about after her. Did you like other people though? You didn't have other, you haven't had any other crushes. Right, so now we're gonna get to the bottom of like, who, what, did, did he? Did he like anybody? Yeah, in like middle school, why do you ask? You seem overly nice sometimes. Just heard some things. Heard some th I'm gonna say heard some things. I heard some things from some people is all. What people, if not Kelly, who would I have a crush on? Evelyn, Emily, no one in particular. So again, we can, we can still say, let him know without letting him know. Well, I promise you I've only ever been after Kelly. Maybe I was being overly friendly. I think I do that sometimes, but I don't mean anything by it. You should work on that. Maybe tone it down a bit. Yeah, it's just, I just you might want to, I don't know, tone that down a bit. Which is very true. It happens where some people are just, it's just, they're just friendly, but people take it as, as being flirtatious or whatever. I can do that, yeah. This just sucks. I hope people don't think I'm a creep now. Everything will be fine. I don't think anyone does. No. Every, every, everything will be fine. Everything will be okay. I certainly hope so. But like, trust me, Rick, you're my best friend. I tell you this kind of shit. I believe you. It's okay. I, I, I believe it. I believe it. Jesus, if, uh, first Kelly breaks up with me, then people think I'm a creep. Merry Christmas to me, right? Santa fucking hates you. Santa Claus fucking hates you. Unread post. Kelly wrote on Emily's wall. Hello, Emily, this is pretty random, but want to go to the mall tomorrow? We could be a couple of single ladies together. I don't like this. I don't like that she posted this. Because if Matt sees this, well, I guess he's not friends with her on this account, but on the other account, if he sees this, this is like a big punch to the stomach of seeing we could be single ladies together. Like, wait a week, not the next day. You're looking at the king of the naughty list right here. What did you do? Fuck this guy in particular. You beat out Ben Wanted and everything. So what do you think of my new profile? Evelyn tagged me in a post. Evelyn stole my hoodie. Look at that, Jacob. Our hoodie is gone. Oh my god, so you know how you lost that sweatshirt? Guess where I found it. I lost it strategically. So what do you think of my new profile? Looks like the old one. You need to change your... S kick up the leaves and the magic is lost. It's a nice, it is a nice... It is, it is a pretty good picture. Actually, I actually do like it. Um, so my mom randomly got called in to work tonight, which means she won't be home till late. We gonna make out? 
things. Do you think it's dumb? I made a new one. Okay, whatever helps, whatever helps. I don't think it's not a big deal. Everything. If you're lucky. Whoa, what's up with this new Matthew Gursky profile you're friends with? Uh, it's Matt's new. I reached out to Matt. I found Matt and reached out to him. Thanks for it. I really just wanted a fresh start, I guess. It's time to get... Look at that, I'm your first friend. Oh, he made a new profile. What's the deal? Is he like okay? I'm sure he'll be fine. He's been he has he's been better. LOL you are. Oh man, just got wicked deja vu of helping you set up your profile. Yeah. It was it was fun. That was a good time. I'm just glad that you can be there for him. You're such a good friend. Thanks. I'm trying to be. LOL, yeah it was. Senior year is like halfway over. Coming up quick. Having someone to talk to when shit hits the fan like this is so important. So what actually happened between him and Kelly? Kelly ended things. Kelly was the one to end things. Matt's still like in shock. I wonder if people will keep in touch after high school or not. I don't know, Matt. Real friends will. I know I will. I mean, I yeah. I will. I'll bounce back. I know I feel bad for him. You know, Matt. He can't stay, Matt. He can't. yeah. I think that'll be okay. But he'll 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 bounce he'll bounce back. Some Jamiroquai? Let's go. What's yours and Eva's plan for college? Sorry, mate, that was a bit forward. Probably stay together, see when we get there. I'm gonna say we probably let's stay together. I'm sure, oh my god, I almost forgot about that relationship quiz you did. You're gonna be so surprised when you see the results. Oh yeah, first place. <laughs> but hold up, why is Kelly so close to me? I don't fucking know. Doesn't mean anything, promise. Better watch out. It's usually like really good. I think I love her. Yeah, I think I kind of love her. Yeah, right. Kelly is like way out of your league. Could definitely woo her. I could, I could definitely woo her if I want to. Oh, well, I'd like to see that. Oh my god. I just had the great best idea. Me and you should hang out soon like we used to. Just chill and play video games or whatever. Those were the days. Yeah, we should. Yeah, we totally should. Okay, my turn. Let's see who my super crush is. I better be number one. Okay. All I can say is I better be number one. Would also have the benefit of helping me forget my depressing life. Until I crush you at games. Rick, shh, I gotta focus. I'm gonna, I'm going for the high score here. You can't silence me, you dumb bitch. How about tonight? I'll bring over some games or something. I also sincerely promise I'm not. It, I promise to not be a mopey piece of shit. You think Matt's gonna be number one? Imagine. Because Matt, Matt did, Matt did say that he thought Evelyn was hot. That'd be kind of interesting. Honestly, story aside, I actually do think Matt and Evelyn would make a good couple together. Maybe. Maybe. Let me talk to Evelyn first. We had plans. I don't want to like mess your night up though. I'll just ask her. I'll ask her. So when I when I when I when I did the Emily run, I stuck with the date with Emily. So you, because you can, this is a choice you can do. You can either choose to go hang out with Matt and be and help him as a friend, or you can stick with your date with with Evelyn. One question left. I'm gonna beat you. What what do I what should I do here? Matt just asked me to hang out tonight. What should I do here? 
Oh, uh, I don't know. Um, I mean, he probably needs someone right now. Would you be mad? I want to see you, though. Would you be mad? Would you be, like, mad at me? No way, I'd be bummed, but not, like, mad or anything. Tell me what to do. I f oh, I hate that. I don't like. I don't like her telling, telling me what to do. I feel like she's. She would probably want me to like make an active decision myself. It's nice that she's not gonna be mad though. But I, I last time, last time I stuck with the date, and I do like had the idea of a date. But me personally, if this was a situation that I was in. I would probably go see. I would. I would. I would probably go see Matt. No, I. I. I, I know. I know, Jacob. I know. I know. You're not rocking with the funk lords. I know. 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 Right. But I'm gonna try this just because. Just because I didn't do it before. Just. Just because I didn't do it before. I'm gonna hang out with Matt. All right. Sounds good. Update, yeah, Evelyn, Evelyn understood, we're good to go, she said, okay. Evelyn totally understood, let's hang out. We can always get together next weekend or something. Maybe, maybe even tomorrow, I'll make it up to you, I'll make it up to you. Adult contemporary. I guess out now, we can say that. We call this one personal effects. I mean, in real life, I'd help my friend out with my GF understanding the situation, right, exactly. That's how Katie would be, too. Yeah. Whatever. Should I bring over anything particular? Doritos and Mountain Dew? Beer. Let's fucking let's let's fucking get some beer. Don't worry about it, Rick. What are you what are you gonna do? God. Well, you know, just gossip for hours. I think I have a few buds light. Uh, bring them. Bring them. That definitely sounds like you too. Some cheese, man. Just don't get any ideas about breaking up. What? No. Well, of course I wouldn't. Aww. She's worried. She's not worried. But real talk, thanks for chilling and talking tonight. You're a good friend. So are you, dude. Didn't do anything. Yeah, dude. So are you, Matt. Because I, I know Matt, Matt would do the same thing for me. You know. Alright, I procrastinated long enough. I'm going to submit this quiz. I better be first place. All right, I'm gonna get some shit together and head over. I'm gonna see. No rush. Sounds good. Ooh, we are first place. We are first place on Evelyn's compatibility quiz with 96%. Emily is 87. Kelly's 81. Steve, Steve is 75. And last, fuck Steve. Piece of shit. Peace. Oh shit, look at that. I beat you. You cheated. You obviously cheated. Big W. Big W. She loves us. Just goes to show, I, uh. I like you a lot, Rick. I like you a lot, Rick. And guess what I'm gonna say? And I love you, Evelyn. What up, George? How you doing, buddy? She didn't say it back. She didn't say it back. That's Geeky George, it is, yeah. That is Geeky George. Um, so this is the second playthrough, George. The first the first playthrough with Emily, we did everything right, and she ends up breaking up with us because she gets she becomes friends with this dude named Jeff, who is obviously like likes her in, from her class. But um we went to prom together, all this good stuff happened, but in the last chapter, 
Emily wants to like take a break and blah 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 blah. And I went online because I was super pissed because I did everything right to be with Emily. And the everyone on the internet found out that in the game's code, in the game's code, everybody will will fail or get the bad ending the first time playing this. You have to play it a second time with the other girl, so this case being Evelyn, in order to try to get the good ending, or to get the good ending, which is just like ridiculous. Do not say I know, I know right, Ryuko. So I, I felt like it did. <laughs> She didn't say it, but I don't think she doesn't love you. Right, right. I think she just... It's, she's definitely there. Yeah, she's definitely there. I just think she has a hard time saying it because it felt like she was trying to say it or, like, imply it. Right, she, de she definitely implied it. Especially because, like, I said it, and just getting the heart back, she said it back. 100%. So, let's go. That was a good one. Next, next, next chapter. <laughs>